All right, quick little update here. We are starting the tire gate. We do have the bar going across here. We're working on the hinge side. I wanna show you guys this pretty beefy mount that we made here. It's fully boxed up. It does go all the way through. And then we have this gusset kicking off forward just for the added extra leverage. So there is bearings in here. It's like wheel bearings. It's like a nice, big, heavy duty hinge system. So there's not gonna be any play or any any kind of sagging or anything. So we're going to finish up the latch system over here and then we're gonna start bending our tubing to hold the actual spare, which is gonna lean forward just a little bit. So we're gonna get on this pretty good here today. So right now I am in the middle of bending the little hoop, the little A looking hoop that's gonna hold the spare tire carrier. If I can juggle this with one hand. Okay, so here is my latch mechanism. This is gonna be my mount. This tubing lands on the bumper like that and it leans in. I'll show you once I get it welded up. But I have, I have the piece of tube cut in half with the cope of a inch and three quarter pipe right there. And then I made this plate and I curved it to match. I have it a little bit skinnier so that way I can lay a nice weld all the way around. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cap the top of it. That way when the, the tire gate shuts, the tubing lands right here. And then the latch, the striker, is going to be welded on right there. I will show you once I get it on the vehicle. As well, I do have the hoop coped and ready to go on. So we have the hoop welded in place with a side support bar. Everything is fully welded in. See all the way around. And then we have everything over here hinge wise set up and fully welded in place as well. We're going to shorten and cap the end, but we are currently working on a crossbar and then we're going to do the uh, weld on plate here for the spare, which we have bolted on in place. We just need to give it a piece of tube to mount off of. 
All right, so now we have our little crossbar welded in place there. We have the cherry picker holding the tire up in place. We have it kicked forward just a little bit, so that way we have a nice little gap there, and it should be kicking forward just enough there. He wanted it leaning forward, so that's what we're doing. So we're gonna go ahead and we are building the pipe that's gonna go off of that bar and to our universal wheel mount plate. So now we have the tube coming off the lug plate that's gonna land on that bar there and then we're gonna build a gusset that fills the whole area afterwards. Once we get our the proper angle in there, we're gonna get this pipe welded on and then we're gonna fill it with a gusset. All right, so here we go. We got everything fully welded on. Got the top gusseted it together here. Nicely, nice and solid. Everything's at the right degree. Threw a little dimple die gusset in the corner here. Just kind of dress it up a little bit. Only thing we have to do is slap our badge on it and then we're gonna be done. All right, what is going on everybody? Today is the last day on the 89 Forerunner, the rock crawler bill. Here it is, loaded up, ready to go home. I uh, haven't touched the camera in probably a week or so. We kind of got on a time crunch. It was supposed to go home. It's going home first thing tomorrow morning. It is Friday night. I uh, don't remember if I showed the spare tire carrier at all or not. Here it is right here, I'll show you. Swings all the way open, just don't want to hit my truck here, but tied into the bumper there. Got the nice latch system on here. Show you here how it works. Latch that on there, clips into place. Holds the spare. Nice heavy duty joint, fully boxed corner here that we did. Everything fully supported underneath. I'll show you all the extra tubing that we did with all the triangle gussets and nice, sturdy, beefy. As you guys can see, all the suspension in here, coilovers, bump stops, straps, full four link, C notch frame, shock tires, sway bar, got the rock sliders. Let me get up here. Sorry, it's a little covered up. Got all the extra parts going home for him here. Box full of exhaust. Let's see here. Still has to get drive shafts made. Full frame plating all the way down, all the way around. Custom cross member, I mean custom everything, honestly. Does have a Lexus V8 swap, so the full power plant was put in there. We finished that up a little bit for him. Here's the front suspension, shock hoops, coilovers, hydraulic bump stops, all kings, limit straps. You see you got our bump stop boxes on both sides. Come around here, show you up in the engine bay. We do have the hood off right now, it is over here. We're gluing all that inner structure back together just to keep all the structure in the hood. Let me get up here. Full engine cage that we did, everything goes through. 
through the course port, through the grill. Nice clean holes. New aftermarket radiator. Reservoirs mounted right on the side. Easy access to the clickers here so you can adjust the suspension a little bit. So like I said, goes through the hood, or through the grill, through the course port. Nice and clean on both sides. See there and there. So, and then one of the last things that we did not film was the steering here. We did the full hydraulic ram steering, the TMR universal mount kit, the PSC ram, Everything is in place. Everything is aligned. We did the axle straps. We did the steering stoppers front and back. So all four corners has steering stoppers. Everything is fully adjusted so nothing will rub. He gets full, full suspension cycle and full turn all the way around. See here you get the track bar mount, the other coil over and the other bump stop. You get the nice rock sliders here. And then you can see the frame plating, the other sway bar, diamond plate frame plating all the way down. Yeah, the front is a, is a uh, three link and the rear is a four link. But that's gonna be that. We're gonna throw the hood on first thing in the morning. We're gonna take it down there and drop it off. He's going to run the wire harness and get the engine to run. He might bring it back for us to do the exhaust. He's talking about bringing it back, having us plumb all the brake systems and all the fuel lines and everything for him. So you might be might be seeing this thing come back. Uh, it will be a couple months. He did just have a baby. Congratulations to him. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll see what we're going to do to it here in the future. Because I know he was talking about having us re-bedline the whole truck, a bright white. This bed liner was done, I think he said 15 years ago, so held up pretty good. We're going to grind all that off and do a fresh one. So hopefully we'll see it back here within a couple months and we'll finish it up and have it ready to go for him. He's going to pull the body off and fully powder coat all the frame, suspension, everything. Everything's going to get fully powder coated. Drive shafts are going to get ordered and made. So also for that steering, I forgot to mention, here's the pump. We had to modify the steering a little bit. Make sure all the clearances are good. So the only thing left to do on the steering is run the lines. The lines are gonna come up to here and they go to the top of the pump here and then two of the lines go to the power steering pump which is right on the other side of the engine. So that's all easy to finish up. He's gonna do that after he goes through and powder coats and does everything. Then he'll worry about plumbing and getting everything tidy up and finished. All right, guys, so thank you very much for watching and following this build. Um, it's been great. It's been fun. It's been a big build. It's been a lot of work. Uh, hopefully, you guys learned something. I know we didn't We didn't have the chance to explain everything. We have a lot going on here. We got trucks in there, trucks in there. We got another forerunner there that's going home next week. We just have a lot going on. I uh, hired a couple more guys. There's three of us in here working now, so I haven't been able to just one-on-one -on -one do work and film like I used to, so videos are missing some sections you know some bits and pieces and like this whole front steering we didn't film that at all and i apologize for that which we should have um it's just been crazy it's been busy we have more and more work we got another sand rail in the far back of the lot there we have another one being dropped off next week a full complete build so there's just a lot going on and i'm just trying to keep up and keep it going so trying to film what i can i apologize i'll try to be better about it I have probably eight videos I got to sit down and catch up on just editing so you guys do have more videos coming your way like I said it's just been hectic uh, trying to balance me and manage a couple guys it's all you know it's it's all new it's hectic it's crazy but it's fun it's a blast so we'll try to get some more content out to you guys so once again I appreciate all your support and everything um, we're gonna keep the awesome cool builds coming this thing is awesome this rail is gonna be awesome uh, we are going to be linking my pre-runner very, very soon. I just ordered a couple more parts for it, so we're right there. We're going to do some filming on that. And then one of our new employees, he's going to pull some weekends with me and start pulling the cab cage through. So we're going to get some videos on that going here as well. So uh, we're going to call that a wrap. That's going to be it. 89 Forerunner Rock Crawler build. 
So it's gonna go home first thing in the morning and hopefully we'll see it back. But thanks for watching. Peace out guys.